Hello friends. Welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. In the previous video, we have seen that how we can connect Postgres SQL database server with RDS. Now in this video we are going to see how to create and connect Oracle database server to RDS. So without further ado, let's get start the session. So as you can see, this is my AWS management console. Now here, first we will create a security group that defines an inbound rule that will allow access from the internet. Then we can associate the security group to a database instance. So let's search for VPC. And here, let's click on create security group. Let's give it a name here. Description. Now here let's add an inbound rule. So in type, let's select Oracle RDS. And here in source, let's select anywhere IPv4. And then the same thing for IP version 6. Here outbound rule should be good. No need to change this in tags also. So click on create. Alright, there we go. We're able now to create a security group for our database instance. So let's go ahead now and create a Oracle database instance using the RDS service. So please go to RDS. Now click on create database. Here make sure you click on standard create database. Then select the Oracle. And here in the addition, select standard addition. And here, go with license included. For template select the dev slash test, since this is only a test that we are making. Here let's give it a name. Let's say demo, Oracle. We need to give it a password, then confirm it. For DB instance class, select burstable classes. Make sure it is select to smallest instance, dbt3 small. Here for storage, uncheck the enable storage autoscaling. For connectivity, public access connectivity should be select to yes. And here, search for the VPC or security group that we created, so here it is. Now here, click on additional configuration. Here let's give a name to initial database, let's say, ORCL. And then let's uncheck all this, like backup, encryption, performance insight, monitoring. And then click on create database. So this may take another 5 to 10 minutes to be created. Okay so now, our database is successfully created. So let's click on this. And now copy this endpoint. So let's go now to Oracle software. Don't worry, I will provide the link in the description. So here, let's click on new. Here, I am just going to name this Oracle RDS. Now let's give it username and password that we have created. Here in the host name, pass that endpoint we copied. Then port is good, but I am going to change the SID to ORCL. And then we need to click on test, so let's do that. Alright success. So let's try to connect now. Okay, now as you can see there, here you can able to create now. So yeah congratulations, you're able now to connect Oracle database to AWS RDS. I hope you all guys understand the concept. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.